The Tesla Cybertruck launches tomorrow, and with it comes more information and products. Tesla execs towards Highland looking for a spot to invest $5 billion, and a new safety feature for the Model 3 uses the hood to save pedestrians. It's almost time. Tesla officially launches their long-awaited stainless steel Cybertruck tomorrow with a delivery event at their Gigafactory in Austin, Texas. And aside from the hype-reaching peak levels, a few more pieces of key information have dropped as the clock ticks down to the November 30th event. The latest breaking news coming from YouTuber MKBHD shows the interior of his own Cybertruck test unit, and for the first time ever, we can see both the range and the state of charge for the battery pack. So, how much range is this particular Cybertruck packing? Well, we can very clearly see 265 miles of range estimated by the truck's own computer, and that's with 9 out of 10 charge indicators lit. So, 90% charge and 265 miles remaining means the total would be something like 290 miles of range. That's not very much. Of course, we don't know any of the particulars about this specific truck, how many motors, how big are the wheels and tires, is it loaded down with a bunch of heavy stuff in the back, or maybe even a trailer. There's no way to know any of these details for sure, and that's why we're still very excited for tomorrow's delivery event. Last week, we learned from Tesla execs that there will be only 10 trucks delivered at the event itself, not a huge number, but not altogether unexpected, given how careful the company has been with their production process. But there's a possibility that this might change. On November 27th, drone photographer Jeff Roberts spotted a stockpile of Cybertrucks that appeared ready to ship in the Giga Texas parking lot. At least 25 trucks, not including release candidates and other prototypes, were seen being washed and charged. Now, it is possible that these trucks aren't ready for the event or that they're intended to be some of the first to be shipped out afterwards, but it seems like an odd choice to not include them in the delivery event if Tesla can manage it, so maybe there will be some surprises tomorrow. But it seems the Tesla execs weren't done dropping some early details about the event because the same day that those extra Cybertrucks were spotted at Giga Texas, Tesla Investor Relations head Martin Viecha made a post saying, that the event will be starting at 1 p.m. Central Time tomorrow. The November 27th post was made because Viecha had noticed some folks thinking it was going to be an evening event on the 30th, which tells us that Tesla is keeping tabs on what folks are speculating about the event itself, and that the invitations sent out to investors have probably had the correct date and time, and they just weren't leaked yet. Either way, this time slot makes a lot of sense, as folks in Australia could conceivably tune into the event at 6am, while folks in Europe could watch along at 8pm, which allows for viewing in every market where the Cybertruck has been popular, a smart move. Meanwhile, hype has continued to build across the US and Canada, as Cybertruck models have been set up in showrooms, allowing many people the chance to see the truck up close for probably the first time. Just last week, we reported that the stainless steel vehicle was starting to be displayed, and on November 25th, there were reports of lines forming to see the futuristic pickup. And it was because of these showroom appearances that we got word of a type of cleaning product that Tesla seems to have developed with the help of auto detailing company Auto Renew. The bottle of fluid called CyberShield was spotted at a Tesla dealership in Florida by Reddit user DMC81. While discussing stainless steel finish maintenance with one of the employees, the user was handed this CyberShield bottle, and it looks very professional, even including a description on the label. CyberShield is a cutting-edge cleaner and protective solution that redefines the way you care for the exterior stainless surfaces of the Cybertruck. The employee confirmed that the finishing solution was made in collaboration with Tesla, and while we're not sure if it was made only for dealerships to help maintain the best finish possible, it would be really odd if Tesla or Auto Renew didn't end up selling this sort of peripheral. It's exactly the sort of thing Cybertruck owners would probably want to buy. But this bottle of cleaner is just the most recent example of half a dozen features and related products for the Cybertruck that Tesla fans have been trying to guess at for years now, but especially since the company really started entering their pre-production and prototyping phase in 2022. After almost two years of increasingly intense attention from Tesla fans, the excitement is palpable. Log on to any Tesla forum, glance at any Tesla news site, and you'll see a ton of Cybertruck content. 
this pickup has definitely gained a life of its own in terms of how recognizable it is. Love it or hate it, Tesla and Cybertruck are almost synonymous now, and tomorrow's event is sure to pull huge numbers. We'll be having another watch party in our Discord server, so if you would like to join us, check the Discord link in the description below. The hunt for a new Tesla Gigafactory location in Southeast Asia is getting hotter as company executives recently visited Thailand to inspect several locations that could be suitable for new facilities. In a recent interview, the Thai Prime Minister confirmed that the visits from Tesla included time for the company's representatives to experience the culture of Thailand, as well as view some good sites for a new Tesla facility, one that the Thai government says the company is willing to invest $5 billion into. Over the past couple of years, Tesla has made a big show of courting several countries in Southeast Asia, including Thailand, Indonesia, and India, and just about every country's representatives have said they are close to a deal at one point or another. And that's the tricky thing about negotiations. Everyone's trying to get the upper hand, and that means they're going to always be advertising how strong their deal is. But while it can be difficult to suss out who is really in the lead here, we do have some easy clues. Obviously, an exec team touring the country for spots to build is a big point in Thailand's favor here. But we should probably consider the talk of Tesla wanting to invest $5 billion as unconfirmed until the deal is actually signed. But Thailand is actually a pretty enticing place for Tesla to put down their next gigafactory. The local government is clearly happy to invite them into the country, but more importantly, it's also geographically close to Indonesia, which will come in handy if Tesla ends up investing in that country's nickel mines. And Tesla does have a history with Indonesia. Last year was full of back and forth between Tesla execs and the Indonesian government. The island nation has huge nickel mines that battery makers would love to get in on, and in turn, Indonesia would really love to have a big company like Tesla invest there. And while the recent economic downturn has made the relationship cool a bit, it hasn't stopped Elon from communicating with the Indonesian government regularly, and it looks like Tesla is still planning on investing in the nickel industry there. But there's another Southeast Asian country that Tesla has been very interested in negotiating with, India. Almost the entire time they've been talking with Indonesia, Tesla has also been attempting to convince the Indian government to lower their strict tariffs on foreign imports. The back and forth has led to the idea that maybe Tesla will be making their next factory there instead, but there have been a lot of diplomatic roadblocks. And here comes the tricky bit, because it's likely that Indonesia, India, and Thailand have all been talking about these deals in order to seem like they have the upper hand, which probably suits Tesla just fine. We can't be sure if Tesla actually wants to build in Thailand, or is just letting things seem that way to get India to lift restrictions, but either way, it definitely looks like the company is getting ready to make a choice soon. Now that the updated version of the Model 3 has been out for about three months, several new safety features are getting some attention, and there's some pretty clever bits of engineering. First, brought to our attention by user Tesla underscore Adri on X, the Model 3 redesign, formerly called Highland, has some passive safety features that the original didn't. Metal hooks for keeping the doors aligned in a crash, double power dampeners on the trunk to stabilize that part, an active hood, and the driver drowsiness warning system. The drowsiness warning system is based around a camera installed above the rear view window that watches for the amount of yawns and blinks a driver makes, warning them on the central infotainment display if it detects some drowsy behaviors. It's a little odd to have your car watching you while you drive, but a lot of accidents are caused by people driving while tired, so it is a useful system to keep those incidents to a minimum. The rest are pretty self-explanatory, but the active hood is something relatively new. The idea is that in the event of a collision with a pedestrian, sensors in the front bumper will send a signal to the Model 3's computer, an algorithm will determine if the accident requires more intervention, and if it does, a pair of pistons pushes the rear of the hood upwards about 3 inches. This cushions the blow that a person would receive from slamming into a nearly horizontal hood, which is one of the bigger causes for head injuries in these types of collisions. This feature is reportedly already available in the Model S and Model X in some markets, but reportedly all new Model 3s have the active hood. Now, the only downside is that after activation, you'll need to get a Tesla service center to reset the pistons and realign your hood, 
sort of like what you'd have to do if your airbags deploy, but it's a small price to pay for minimizing pedestrian injuries. Safety features like the active hood are the sort of thing we all hope to never have to use, but it is encouraging to see Tesla taking an active role in protecting people. Now we just have to wait for the Highland refresh to make its way to North America for the features to be adopted here. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, please consider supporting us directly on Patreon and hit the like button. If content like this starts to perform well for us, then we can continue to make a lot more high quality videos for you in the future.